Hey everyone, welcome back to Immortal News. Today we're taking a look at the lives of some remarkable people who recently passed away. We also have a sad update regarding Two and a Half Men star Marin Hinkle. As always, at Immortal News, we want to remember those who've made a difference. If their stories hit you in the feels, give the video a thumbs up. Let's share some respect and remember the amazing people we've lost. Number 10. The social media community is mourning the passing of 22-year-old Leah Smith a young lady who bravely chronicled her battle with a rare cancer on TikTok. Leah of Walton, England, passed away after battling Ewing's sarcoma, a malignancy that typically affects children and young adults. She had documented her battle with the sickness on TikTok, earning over half a million followers who shared her experience and offered support. Andrew Moore, Leah's boyfriend, announced the news in a video message on her Facebook. He said she was amazing and helped everyone around her, he promised to keep her memory alive and expressed gratitude for the encouraging words Leah got during her treatment. The news of Leah's passing prompted an outpouring of tributes. Many people admired her bravery and courage in the face of hardship. One follower said, Leah Smith, you were amazing and so strong. Her best friend shared this view, saying, If love could have saved her, she would have lived forever. Leah, who was diagnosed at the age of 21, frankly revealed her experiences with the condition including everyday hardships, hospital trips, and the emotional toll. Her story touched many people, raising awareness about Ewing's sarcoma and inspiring those facing similar struggles. Her legacy goes beyond social media. She used her platform to connect with others going through similar experiences, providing a sense of community and hope. Tributes to Leah Smith. Number 9. The music world lost a true champion recently. Rapper Boss, whose real name was Lachelle Laws, passed away at the age of 54. Boss wasn't just any rapper, she was a trailblazer. Imagine being a young girl who loved hip-hop, but there weren't many female rappers out there, that's what Boss faced. But she never gave up on her dream. Boss moved to Los Angeles to chase her music career and her talent caught the attention of important figures in the industry. She became the first ever female rapper signed to the famous record label Def Jam. This was a huge moment proving that girls could rock the mic just like anyone else. In 1993, Boss released her album Born Gangstas, which showed the world her skills and unique style. She even had a song, Deeper, that became a hit. Boss faced challenges throughout her life, including health issues, but her passion for music never faded. She inspired countless young girls to follow their dreams, no matter what. Even though Boss is gone, her music and her legacy will live on forever. She showed everyone that anyone can be a hero, as long as they believe in themselves. So the next time you hear a powerful rap song, remember Boss, the queen who paved the way for future generations. Tributes to Boss. Number 8. The music world is mourning the loss of singer-songwriter Eric Carmen, who passed away at the age of 74. Carmen's wife Amy announced the news on his website, stating that he passed away in his sleep. Carmen's career spanned over four decades. He rose to fame as the frontman of the pop-rock band The Raspberries, known for their catchy tunes like Go All The Way and Let's Pretend. These songs helped pave the way for the power-pop genre that gained popularity later. After the Raspberries disbanded in 1975, Carmen embarked on a successful solo career. His rich, high tenor voice became his signature. Songs like Never Gonna Fall In Love Again, She Did It, and Make Me Lose Control became international hits, solidifying his status as a pop music icon. But it was the iconic ballad All By Myself that truly cemented Carmen's place in music history. The song, which reached number two on the Billboard charts, transcended generations and remains a beloved classic. Born in Cleveland, Ohio, Carmen's passion for music began at a young age. 
He was a classically trained pianist and drew inspiration from the British invasion bands of the 1960s. This influence is evident in his songwriting and performing style. While his solo career saw its share of ups and downs, Carmen's contribution to the soundtrack of the movie Dirty Dancing proved to be a major comeback. His rendition of Hungry Eyes became his biggest hit ever, reaching number four on the Billboard charts. Tributes are pouring in from fans and fellow musicians alike. Eric Carmen is remembered for his powerful voice, his songwriting talent, and his enduring contribution to the world of pop and rock music. Tributes to Eric Carmen. Number 7. Former athlete Bobby Power passed away at the age of 40. He was battling pancreatic cancer and spent his final days at Dr. Kershaw's Hospice in Oldham. Many people will know Bobby from his days as a Manchester United young player in the 1990s. Following his football career, he established himself as a successful personal trainer, inspiring people with his commitment to fitness and encouraging internet presence. Bobby was well known for his friendly demeanor and love of the outdoors in addition to his athletic achievements. He was also a devoted father to his three daughters, Lauren, Caitlin, and Heidi. Bobby married his childhood sweetheart, Gemma Powerbliss, only weeks before his death, fulfilling a long-held desire. Friends characterized the ceremony as a beautiful and unique occasion, a bright spot in his sickness. The news of Bobby's passing has prompted an outpouring of tributes. His family, friends, and former co-workers remember him as a gifted athlete, a devoted father, and a compassionate and inspiring person. Tributes to Bobby Power. Number 6. David Mixner, a vanguard in the fight for LGBTQ equality, passed away at the age of 77 due to complications from long COVID. Throughout his life, Mixner leveraged his voice and actions to challenge and change the socio-political landscape for the LGBTQ community, confronting and persuading figures like Ronald Reagan and Bill Clinton to embrace civil rights advancements. Beyond his political activism, Mixner's creative spirit shone through his plays, including Oh Hell No and 1969 where he shared his journey from rural poverty to becoming a key player in pivotal moments of American history, such as the Vietnam War protests, the AIDS crisis, and the struggle for LGBTQ rights. Mixner's legacy is immortalized not just in his public protests and political lobbying, but also in his personal courage to live authentically and encourage others to do the same. His efforts significantly contributed to the visibility and acceptance of the LGBTQ community in American society and politics remembered by GLAD's president, Sarah Kate Ellis, as a transformative leader whose work laid the groundwork for today's equality, Mixner was a mentor to many and a figure of profound influence and love. Despite facing exclusion and heartache, including the loss of his partner and many friends to AIDS, Mixner's resolve only strengthened, making him a relentless advocate for justice and equality. His commitment was evident when he challenged the don't ask, don't tell policy, a move that temporarily estranged him from political circles but underscored his integrity and dedication to LGBTQ rights. Tributes to David Mixner Number 5. Coleman Howe, an imaginative screenwriter recognized for her work with Steven Soderbergh on Full Frontal and Bubble, passed away at the age of 62. Her death happened at the Actors Fund home in Englewood, New Jersey, following a heroic struggle with Parkinson's disease, which she was diagnosed with at the age of 42. Her talents extended beyond screenplay to playwriting, poetry and acting, enriching the arts with her distinct voice and vision. Her collaboration with Soderbergh represented a considerable departure from traditional filmmaking, 
embracing improvisation and a genuinely humanistic approach to character development. Full Frontal and Bubble, with their unique storytelling and production methods, demonstrated her ability to tell stories that were both introspective and intelligent, winning her praise in the indie film world. Beyond her cinematic work, she was committed to education, teaching screenwriting to students at Ohio University and USC. Her early onset Parkinson's diagnosis did not dampen her creative drive. Instead, she continued to explore and develop in the worlds of theater and film. Her legacy is one of daring innovation and resilience, producing a collection of work that both challenges and inspires. She was a trailblazer, best known for her contributions to film and theater, as well as her role as a mentor to the next generation of storytellers. Tributes to Coleman Ho. Number 4. Irish journalist and broadcaster Charlie Bird passed away at the age of 74. He had been battling motor neuron disease since 2021. Bird's career with RTE spanned over three decades. He began as a researcher, eventually transitioning to news reporting in 1980. During the 1990s, he played a pivotal role in covering the Northern Ireland peace process, becoming a trusted contact for the provisional IRA. His dedication to his craft extended to international reporting, taking him to places like Rwanda, Washington, and Haiti. He retired as RTE's chief news correspondent in 2010. Tributes are pouring in from across Ireland and beyond. President Michael D. Higgins described Bird as an exceptionally talented broadcaster and a truly remarkable man driven by a deep sense of social justice. Tanaiste Michel Martin highlighted Bird's courage, generosity of spirit, and dignity, while Sinn Féin leader Mary Lou MacDonald acknowledged his dedication to storytelling and his bravery in the face of illness. Bird's legacy extends more than journalism. Following his MND diagnosis, he became a vocal advocate for the Irish Motor Neuron Disease Association. He spearheaded the Climb with Charlie campaign, raising significant funds for research and support. His unwavering spirit in the face of his illness inspired countless individuals. Kevin Bakerst, Director General of RTE, praised Bird's unique legacy and his reputation as a fearless reporter. He also commended Bird's selfless commitment to helping others, particularly after his diagnosis. One of Bird's most enduring qualities was his commitment to the people he encountered throughout his career. Antoinette Keegan, a survivor of the Stardust nightclub fire, described him as a very special friend who never forgot the victims and their families. Charlie Bird's remarkable life and career leave a lasting impression. He is remembered as a talented journalist, a dedicated advocate, and an inspiration to many. Tributes to Charlie Bird. Number 3. Pete Rodriguez, a pioneer in the Latin Boogaloo movement, passed away at the age of 91. Pete Rodriguez, an American pianist and band leader born in the Bronx to Puerto Rican parents, made significant contributions to Latin music with his ensemble, Pete Rodriguez and Sue Conjunto. Their 1967 hit, I Like It Like That, not only achieved national success on the Billboard charts, but it also became a timeless classic influencing generations and being sampled and covered by artists across genres, including Cardi B, Bad Bunny and J Balvin in their 2018 chart-topping single I Like It. His contributions to music went beyond a single song. His catalog demonstrates the liveliness and flexibility of Latin Boogaloo. Albums such as At Last, The King of the Boogaloo, and Christmas Boogaloo featured his distinct blend of Latin rhythms, soul, and R&B resulting in a sound that was both new and firmly entrenched in his cultural history. His music not only entertained, but also functioned as a cultural bridge, introducing Latin music to a wider audience. His legacy embodies innovation, endurance, and cultural fusion. 
He was a visionary who recognized the possibilities of blending many musical traditions to create something altogether new and thrilling. His contributions to the music industry are immense, and his work continues to inspire new generations of musicians and music fans alike. As we reflect on Rodriguez's life and work, we remember him not just for the joy his music has brought to so many people, but also for his contribution in influencing the Latin music scene. Tributes to Pete Rodriguez Number 2. Actor Michael Culver passed away at the age of 85. He leaves behind a legacy of over 60 years in acting, entertaining audiences across theater, film, and television. Culver was known for his ability to breathe life into any role. He tackled real-life stories in the powerful tribunal plays of the 90s, bringing historical events to the stage. These plays, along with his later activism against the Iraq War, showed a man who cared deeply about social issues. He wasn't afraid to stand up for what he believed in. Culver became a vocal supporter of the anti-war protester Brian Haw, even teaming up with another actor to get a statue built in Haw's honor. While some might recognize him from movies like Star Wars or A Passage to India, Culver was also a regular face on TV. He appeared in shows like The Adventures of Black Beauty and Spooks. But his life wasn't all about acting. Culver was a devoted family man. He is survived by his wife, his children, and his grandchildren. People in the entertainment industry and beyond are remembering Culver for his talent, his strong convictions, and his lasting impact on the arts. Tributes to Michael Culver. Today's top headlines. News, one. After 25 years of shared life and love, two and a half men star Marin Hinkle and Randall Summer have amicably concluded their marriage. The couple who announced their separation last September have now finalized their divorce, setting an example of mutual respect and care. Their joint statement emphasized their continued friendship and love, especially for their son, underscoring the strength of their bond beyond marriage. The settlement, reached through an uncontested declaration, speaks volumes about their commitment to handling personal matters with grace and dignity. As they embark on new chapters, both Hinkle and Summer remain united in their family's well-being, proving that relationships can evolve with kindness and respect at their core. News 2 in a harrowing tale of survival and resilience, beloved actress Jennifer Lewis shares the chilling details of a near-fatal accident during a serene getaway turned nightmare in the Serengeti, Tanzania. On what was supposed to be a triumphant retreat following the culmination of Blackish and a book release, Lewis suffered a dramatic fall from a hotel balcony, plunging 10 feet into a dry ravine filled with boulders and sharp rocks. The terrifying ordeal left her immobilized, enveloped in darkness and fearing the end as a lion's roar pierced the silent night. Yet in a twist befitting her indomitable spirit, Lewis fought through the pain and fear, marking her return to the screen with roles in NBC's Night Court Revival and alongside Jennifer Lopez. Her story, a testament to the strength within, underscores the actress's message of perseverance. It's not just about the fall, but the courage to rise again. News 3. Jake Lloyd, remembered for his role as young Anakin Skywalker in Star Wars The Phantom Menace, is courageously facing his battle with schizophrenia, as shared by his mother, Lisa, in a heartfelt update. After a significant psychiatric break that led to his diagnosis, Lloyd has been navigating the complexities of this mental health challenge, including a dramatic fall into depression when he started hearing voices. Despite the struggles and a past marked by intense scrutiny and bullying, Lloyd's journey toward recovery is underway with his family's unwavering support. Currently participating in an 18-month outpatient program at a mental health facility, 
he is making promising progress towards social re-engagement. Lisa's insights reveal not just a mother's love, but also Lloyd's enduring affection for the Star Wars saga, dispelling rumors of any disdain towards the franchise. This story shines a light on the resilience and hope that define Lloyd's path forward. News 4. In a candid response to growing speculation, Kate Middleton, the Princess of Wales, addressed concerns over a recent family photograph shared on the Prince and Princess of Wales's official Instagram account. The image, intended to quell rumors about her health, sparked further debate when it was pulled by major news agencies over suspicions of manipulation. Middleton openly acknowledged her amateur photography enthusiasm, including occasional editing experiments, expressing her apologies for any confusion caused. Her message aimed to clarify the situation and wished everyone a joyful Mother's Day. This unexpected twist in the narrative highlights the challenges faced by public figures in managing their private lives amidst intense public scrutiny, all while trying to connect personally with a global audience. Number one, Madeleine Chapsal, a literary and journalism icon, passed away at the age of 98 in Pouligan, Loire-Atlantique. Her passing signaled the end of an era in French cultural and intellectual life. Chapsal, who began her career with her former spouse Jean-Jacques Servan Schreiber, was essential in the establishment of L'Express in 1953, where she worked as a literary critic and conducted remarkable interviews with notable figures such as Jorge Luis Borges and Henry Miller. Her switch from journalism to writing resulted in the publication of around a hundred books, including novels, essays, and poetry, making her one of France's most prolific authors. Her works, particularly The Man of My Life, a memoir on her personal life with Servan Schreiber and La Maison de Jade, a bestseller, have left an everlasting effect on French literature. Her adaptation of various literature for the big screen demonstrates her diverse talent. Aside from her literary achievements, she was recognized for her strong convictions, as indicated by her vocal criticism of the circumstances for awarding the Femina Prize in 2005, which resulted in her expulsion from the jury. Her fearless stance on matters of principle endeared her to many, even as it sparked controversy. Born into a wealthy family, her legacy includes not just her literary works, but also her persistent dedication to the intellectual and cultural discourse of her time. Her marriage to Jean-Marc Vallée in 2019 at the age of 93 demonstrated her passion for life and love. As we say goodbye to Madeleine Chapsal, we remember her not just for the vast amount of work she left behind, but also for her major contributions to the advancement of French culture and literature. Tributes to Madeleine Chapsal.